hello hello and welcome to the video today i'm just going to do a grocery haul i did pull some stuff out that i already had on hand i didn't necessarily buy just this last time we went grocery shopping but i wanted to give you a pretty good idea of what i typically eat um throughout the week and i figured just pulling out those couple things not a big deal but we did just go food shopping the majority of everything is from aldi's walmart and that's it all these in walmart the vast majority coming from all these um there is one exception today and that's the fish because all these is out so we stopped at a grocery outlet and score they had some so let me give you a close-up of everything that is that i eat during a week and then we will go over how i make those into meals and ideas that you can use now these are foods and meals that i'm eating while on prep so before I was on prep, it would have looked a little bit different, but I want to give you an accurate idea of exactly how prep looks and how my meals and foods are looking. All right, give me one second and I'll show you everything. All right, here is all the different foods that I eat in a week. We have it split up into proteins, carbs, fats, and veggies, and then my little treats over there. So I'm going to show you everything up close and then we will go over what I do to make them into meals. All right, so let's start with protein, which as you can see, makes up the biggest chunk of what I'm eating, which yes, it does. Okay, so tilapia. This is one of the only things that is not from Aldi's. That is my protein source. They just were out this week. So we went to grocery outlet and got those. Super lean, super delicious, and super easy to cook. Um, then we have liquid egg whites. I love egg whites, super lean, all protein. These are delicious and I will tell you how I make them delicious shortly. Low fat cottage cheese. Um, this is probably one of my second favorite type of cottage cheese. I'm very picky with the, the kinds I like. I don't like all cottage cheese. My favorite is the low fat from Fairway, which is only in the Midwest. So I cannot get that here, but this is a good enough second place. Uh, then we have boneless skinless chicken breasts. I very rarely eat them just as chicken breasts. I almost always or almost exclusively grind this up into chicken sausage that I spice and make myself and it is really really good and if you like sausage making it yourself is a much better option because usually sausage is extremely extremely fatty and just really really high in calories. Um, then we have 93% ground beef and a pork loin and then these little uh, pork ribs. So these meats are my higher fat protein sources. So they have a um, higher amount of fat. So they're my fatty protein sources and I typically have these for dinner. This is really good. Well, getting off track. I will tell you how I do everything in a second. So, and then we got non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, so this one is uh, pretty much a staple. Now let's go on to carbs. All right, old fashioned oats, fantastic. White rice, um, all of this is from Aldi's. Um, all of the carbs are from Aldi's. Then we got chickpeas, which are one of my favorite things to eat. One of my favorite types of carbs, black beans. And pinto beans, these I have if I'm just feeling like mixing it up. I do not eat the black or the pinto beans nearly as often as I have the rice or the potatoes. So those potatoes and rice are my two like go-tos and then the oatmeal. Um, and the beans are just like if I'm feeling like a treat. Uh, and then just plain lightly salted rice cakes, also from Aldi's. And let's go over to fats. All right, so neither of my fats are from Aldi's. Um, this is from Walmart. Uh, it is very good peanut butter. It, look at the ingredients on that. Peanuts and then salt and barely any salt. It's literally just peanuts. And I am a chunky peanut butter person all the way. What are you, smooth peanut? I just like to have it feel like I'm actually eating something when there's like little pieces of peanuts in there. And then my other fat source that I use is olives, which I absolutely love olives all types of olives they're delicious so these are my two big fat sources i do have other options but those are the two i always i always go for um veggies spinach broccoli green beans 
and mushrooms. Again, these are all from Aldi's uh, and really that's pretty much what I stick to. I have a lot of options when it comes to veggies, but these are my staples and the ones that I always opt for. Then snacks, pickles, always a good snack. And then my iced tea is always a treat. This is obviously from Walmart, not Aldi's. Um, so that is my go-to drink. I like unsweet tea and, um, but yeah, so that is all of it. And now we're gonna go into how I actually put these into meals and cook them and how you can try incorporating some of this. All right, so we went through the grocery haul and what I typically eat in a week. So let's go through about like how I actually put all this food together and make my meals out of it. So let's start with the tilapia. This has been my favorite protein source the last few weeks. It is so good. Um, I wish I could have it every meal. I have to be honest, I've been liking it that much. What I do is I put it in a pan salt and pepper it and just cook it and chop it up uh, and just cook it like that, just salt and pepper and I get a, let it get a little brown so it's a little crispy and that is literally it. There's nothing else on the pan, there's no oil I use, nothing like that. It's just plopped in a pan, salt and pepper and brown it a little bit and chop it up like you would like ground hamburger. Um, just because for me that makes it much easier to measure and weigh out but it also just makes it a little less like oh i can't break it when i'm flipping it so i would just i would suggest giving that a try even though it feels weird at first to like chop fish up like hamburger it uh it's great um but yeah that is like my top favorite thing super easy super lean really good um and that i actually usually pair with a tablespoon of peanut butter i just eat the peanut butter separate because on fish and veggies and then I also have my white rice with the fish um, this I just cook in a pan I put a lot of extra water in there and then just boil it until it tastes done typically I have to add a little bit more water but it takes maybe five minutes top so that whole meal the fish and the rice and the peanut butter it's literally like a meal that can be done in eight minutes or less super fast it's super delicious um, it is my favorite meal of the day, and I'm already looking forward to having it for lunch in a little bit. Um, other protein sources. So my chicken, I chop that up, or not chop that up, I use the food processor, which you can see right here, um, and I grind the chicken up myself. I don't buy ground chicken because that's outrageously expensive compared to a boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm not gonna pay that much extra when I can do it myself. And then I add a bunch of spices to it um, to make breakfast sausage. If you are a breakfast sausage person, I highly, highly, highly recommend trying this because it tastes just like breakfast sausage. It's delicious, but so much leaner because you're using chicken instead of really, really fatty pork or really even fatty turkey if you're buying like turkey sausage. Um, it is a great option. It's super easy and you can make a whole bunch that lasts like a whole week. So you can just like grab it and go. And that's usually what I do. I put it in a little container in the fridge measure out my portions and uh, eat it from there. It's good cold. That's one of the really good things about it. It's one of the really good protein sources that travels well because you can eat it cold and it tastes just as, it actually tastes better. I, I never heat it up even if I'm at home when I'm making it. So it's a good one for eating on the go. Uh, my egg whites. I love egg whites. Easy, full protein filling because they're nice and fluffy. So. If you're dieting, trying to lose weight, the best types of food are high volume, so they fill up your stomach, but low calories, so you're feeling full without all of those extra calories. And how I cook my egg whites, I cook my egg whites oftentimes, well, in the microwave, because that's easy, it takes like five minutes, but I bought this cool little omelet maker on Amazon, and it works excellent. It takes three minutes, I close it, and then two minutes, um, and I probably have a little more than a cup of egg whites in here. And if I'm feeling fancy, I put some canned mushrooms in this as well, so it's a mushroom omelet. Uh, fantastic. But another option is you could put the ground chicken sausage in here as well, so you could have a sausage and mushroom omelet. I've done that before too. Oh, it's so good. 
But yeah, I would totally recommend one of these, especially if you're tight on time in the mornings for lunch, or not lunch, breakfast. Uh, it is literally five minutes in the microwave, three, you close it, cook it for like one and a half more minutes, give or take, and your omelet is ready to go. And you just like flop it on a plate. It did say I don't need to spray it, but I do, so then it just slides right out way easier. So that's really easy. Egg whites are a great protein source option. Um, pork loin, this guy is new. I, uh, I, uh, this is a new discovery within the last few weeks. Uh, cook it all, and then you have your protein for the whole week, and it heats up really well with just like a little bit of chicken broth or something in the microwave or the oven. Um, and it's actually really good cold as well. I love when stuff is good cold because that makes it even easier. So that, just cook in the oven, put a bunch of spices on top, slice it up, and then you have a bunch of leftovers for the entire week that are nice and lean and nice and healthy. Hamburger, I literally do nothing fancy with this, so probably not the best person to get tips on your hamburger from. I just brown it with some spices and then eat it like that. That's it. It's um, Hamburger is not good cold. I do not like it's too like slimy with the fat on there um, so I would recommend hamburgers when I know I'm gonna be home and I want something different than the pork uh, for dinner I do have a turkey option but I really don't like the ground turkey very much uh, I just I, I would rather have my pork or the ground beef options uh, so that's what I choose um, Greek yogurt, uh, this I put on my potatoes if I am making baked potatoes as my carb source for that supper. Cottage cheese, I just measure it out and eat it as it is. That is one of my snacks right now while I'm prep. <clears throat> um, like I said, rice is easy. Oatmeal, I just cook in the microwave. It takes three minutes for about a third of a cup. Um, I do add a bunch of extra, I cook mine with water. Um, and I always have, even when I'm not on prep, I cook my oats with water and I use about double plus a little so they aren't overly dry. So that's what I would recommend. Um, but you could definitely like liven oats up. I just don't cause I don't mind plain-ish food, uh, but you could definitely add fruits. Uh, I know people like sometimes add it like, um, sometimes like zucchini shredded up and stuff to make it like more filling, but I think it is good is and I really like it. You could also add like cinnamon and stuff to like give it a little bit of sweetness but I'm not a sweets person so I don't I do not need that. I like just how the oats taste. Um black and pinto beans these two I really just spice them with some like taco flavored spices uh so like Mexican style so they just have a little bit of flavor. Like I said before I think I don't cook these very often these are just if I'm feeling like oh I need something a little different to mix it up and then I'll pick these guys. But they're really good. I just heat them up in a pan with a little extra water, put the spices in, and warm them up. Uh, so they take like three minutes to cook. Uh, garbanzo beans. These are my favorite bean ever. Uh, these are not a quick one. So this one, it does take some pre-planning. I cook these in the oven. I roast them. Uh, before I was on prep, I would do it with a little bit of olive oil. Um, but now I'm just doing it dry and it actually tastes just as good. So I'm probably going to continue to do that after this. So as you do, make sure they are dry. So I let mine, if I'm going to make them, then you know I'm going to make them the day. I set them out on a paper towel. I, I drain them, set them out on a paper towel, let them get dry. And then you just put them on a pan. I do spray a little bit of like cooking or uh, cooking spray on them. So the salt and pepper sticks, salt and pepper them. And you roast them for about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, at like 350, 400, uh, and they are really good. They're very chip-like, so it feels like you're like eating a snack. So they definitely feel like a treat, but they are not fast. These are one of the few things that I make that is not quick, because everything else I feel like is really fast, especially the after I prep it. But yeah, these are really good. Not good leftover though. So like I said, these aren't really like a spur of the moment or travel well. These are you're planning it as like hmm, having myself a nice little treat tonight, and then. My fats, peanut butter, this is pretty much the only big one I use. Uh, it's just easy. It kind of tastes like a dessert, so I sometimes use it as like my last thing I eat for the day. It's like a little treat at the end of the night. Olives are one of my other fat sources. These are sliced olives, and I pair them with my spinach, and that is all I put on my salad because I'm super cool and crazy in the kitchen. <laughs> 
but that's a really good combo. Olives are a pretty healthy source of fat. They are high in salt, but I don't have any issues with salt, so I don't care that they're high in salt. Um, but they're super good for you. Broccoli, I don't eat the broccoli as much as I do the salad or the mushrooms. It's a good option. I've been putting the everything bagel seasoning on it. Eh, I still have a, I still need to find a way to make the broccoli taste really, really good. But typically I just eat it because I know it's good for me and I know it's gonna fill me up. And oh well, that is not the best tasting thing in the entire world. Green beans, nothing fancy. Literally just heat them up in the microwave for a minute and then eat them. Very boring, I know. Mushrooms, I am a huge mushroom fan, so the best way to cook these for me, I rinse them off and put them in the air fryer with some salt and pepper on top for about 15 minutes, and then they are air fried mushrooms, and ooh, they are so good. It's kind of like getting like the uh, deep fried mushroom appetizers without the breading and all the grease. So I mean, obviously not quite as good as those are, but it's pretty good. Um, and they're really tasty, and if you like them to be drier and less juicy, you can just cook them longer. They're almost like mushroom jerky, which is really good. Uh, but I would definitely recommend giving that a try if you are a mushroom fan. So that's how I cook my mushrooms almost all the time. Uh, once in a while I'll saute them in a pan, like if I make the, the pork chops, so like the pork ribs, uh, I'll use what's left in the pan to saute the mushrooms and that's pretty good too and then pair those together. So yeah, that's really it. I do nothing crazy. Uh, usually just meat with spices, chicken with spices to make a sausage, which is really good. Uh, cottage cheese. I mean, really, it's just nothing crazy. And a lot of people ask me for meal ideas. And really, this is what I eat in a week, just what I explained. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different because I'm on prep, so my options are a little less open or a little more limited, there we go, uh, than what yours would be. But that doesn't mean that you can't take some of the ideas. Cook a bunch of protein beforehand. Spice your chicken, make your own sausage to save on the calories. Um, choose lean sources like the fish and the cottage cheese. And then same with the, same with the uh, carb sources. Pick stuff that's filling and good for you and not processed. I mean, I know the white rice is processed a bit, but it's not like I'm eating a Cheeto. Uh, beans are really, really good for you, especially if you don't like meat as much. Beans are a good option to get a little bit of extra protein with your carbs. Um, healthy fats, there's way more than what I'm choosing from, but you don't have to like get super fancy. And veggies, obviously lots more options than what I have. Occasionally I'll have like lettuce and stuff too, but not typically. And then my biggest thing is make sure you have a drink that is no calories that you like. So you can sip on it throughout the day and you're not feeling like super, ooh, I wish I had something. Uh, so you can just like take a drink. And if you are unlike me and like sweet stuff, there are lots and lots and lots of options for zero calorie drinks that have that sweetness to them. One being Diet Pop. There's nothing really wrong with Diet Pop. If you like it, drink it because there's, it's, it's, it's fine. If you like it, just drink it. Um, it's better than drinking full calorie pop. It's better than drinking full calorie juice all the time, honestly, especially if you're trying to lose weight. But get creative with your drinks. Um, find stuff that you really like and uh, try to keep the calories not coming from your drinks when you are trying to lose weight so you can actually fill up on lots of foods so you feel full and your body's getting all the nutrition that it needs. Uh, with all of this food, all of it being whole foods, I feel really good. Like I don't get as many headaches as I used to. I don't get like nausea, nauseous like I do occasionally. Um, just eating on prep, I actually always feel physically better. My headaches are fewer and I just, I sleep good. I mean, I sleep good anyway. I'm lucky that way. But the biggest thing I notice is I get way, way fewer headaches when I'm on prep. Um, Justin noticed that too. And then I also don't get like an icky feeling in my stomach. Sometimes I feel nauseous if I don't eat often enough. And on prep, I feel like that actually doesn't happen, which is weird since I'm dieting. Um, but yeah, so there she be. 
Uh, hopefully some of those sort of meal ideas helped. Uh, it's just how I combine all my food and like I said, it's almost, almost all of this is from Aldi's except for my fat sources and tea. Yeah. The fat sources and the tea are the only thing that I don't get from Aldi's, but you can find olives at Aldi's if you don't, aren't picky like me. I just, I like the great value kind. And you can find peanut butter at Aldi's too, but I just like this kind because it's just peanuts and it tastes really good. So there you go. There is the grocery haul or kind of like what I eat in a week. Uh, sort of thing. Uh, let me know if there are any meal ideas or anything you're going to try like the air fryer mushrooms or if you want the recipe for the chicken sausage or if you want to know how I cook the pork loin, anything like that. Uh, and then also get the little omelet thing, especially if you feel like uh, you're too busy to cook breakfast. It takes five minutes to cook your omelet, probably eight minutes total to get it ready. Same with that fish and rice meal I have. Literally, you can have it prepped, cooked, and ready to eat in less than 10 minutes. So those are some nice quick ideas. And leave me any ideas that you have using all of this that I could do to try some new combos or some new spices. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching. Do not forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. All right. Peace out, peeps.